What's up Slime Squad? Today I'm going to be doing some more slime hacks and fixes. I'm going to be comparing some clay, clear slime, and I want to help you make better slime. Let's get started. We're going to start this video off by comparing Model Magic and Daiso Clay. Time to get this clay out of this box. I've actually never touched Daiso Clay. This is my first time ever holding it in my hands and guys, it just breaks apart so easily and it's so satisfying. I love how it just tears apart. I mean, it just, it's so soft and airy and light. It does leave a little bit of residue. I don't know if all the colors do that. This is the first one I've ever played with. So, anywho, we're gonna move on to our Model Magic. Now we use this all the time, so I'm pretty familiar with this one. Um, it doesn't break like the Daiso. It actually has a stretch to it. This clay testing was actually suggested by our Instagram followers, Savannah Dancer 1256 and Samantha Lou 23. Thanks so much, guys. So as you can see, the Model Magic is a lot softer. It stays together. The Daiso crumbles. It's really soft. The Model Magic is heavier in weight, and the Daiso actually reminds me of Astronaut Ice Cream. No, not that ice cream. Yes, that ice cream. Have you ever had that? Oh, it's so good. Anyway, Daiso's a lot like that. It's super, super lightweight. So I want to see what it does when I put it in some slime. So this is just your basic white slime that I'm putting this Daiso in. This Daiso clay is making incredible loud pops. They are amazing. And actually, I don't feel like um, this is going right because my Daiso seems to be getting thick. I mean, the ribbing of the slime is amazing, but this is a really thick slime. I mean, it was very hard to stretch. All right, time for model magic. And this is again, just some basic white slime. It was a struggle to start stretching this, but eventually it got super stretchy and super soft. It did the exact opposite of the Daiso clay. Another thing I noticed is that the pops of the Daiso were a lot louder than Model Magic clay. I love when your slime is supposed to stick, but it tries to escape instead. <laughs> Final comparisons. All right, Daiso clay turned out really thick and really hard to hold in my hand. And then the Model Magic is squishy and stretchy and just pure amazing. So I'm gonna try this again because I don't think it turned out right. I'm gonna use a actually stickier glue, actually not glue, slime. So I thinned this slime out a little bit more and I'm gonna compare this now. As you can see, the Daiso breaks and the Model Magnet does not. It just stretches.
So far, this one is a lot stretchier than the bigger version I made. I mean, it might be because it's smaller, but I'm thinking the thinner slime is working because look at the stretch. Got amazing pops too. And it keeps sticking to me. I have a Band-Aid because my, I'm a, I have a boo-boo. So I had to put a Band-Aid on my finger. Slime and Band-Aids don't work. This time the Model Magic seems a little bit thicker than the Daiso clay, which is insane to me. Um, the Daiso is more stretchy than the Model Magic. So in the back we have the Daiso and the Model Magic with thicker slime. The front we had thinner slime. And thicker slime and Daiso do not work. Well, I mean, it was just a standard white base slime, but it was thicker. So don't use Daiso with that. Use a thinner slime on Daiso and I guess a thicker slime on Model Magic because it seemed to work better. So the tip of the day is if your butter slime is not turning out how you want it to turn out, it might have something to do with the consistency of your glue. Okay, I have several people ask me, how do I fix my stiff slime? Well, I'm going to show you how today. So here's my stiff slime. I left it unattended I didn't put it back in a bag or I didn't cover it up and it's just breaking it's awful what do I do well usually this is what I do I get some hand lotion and I just put it inside my slime and it's gonna get messy guys it's gonna get messy but I'm gonna save my slime and you can too You're just gonna keep mixing in your lotion, add more if you need to, until you get a nice, smooth, stretchy consistency. Ta-da, it's perfect. This is such an easy fix, guys. Don't throw your slime away. Try to fix it first. Next up, we're gonna do a comparison with clear glue. Not all glues are actually glue. And I don't need any of these. Oh, this is much better. We're gonna start with some peel off face mask, peel off lip gloss, and clear glue. All right, let's start with the peel off lipstick, lip gloss, whatever. Let's just get started. Does anybody know the difference between lip gloss and lipstick anyway? Cause um, I don't. Once my gloss was in, it was time to mix it up. And it's got a nice consistency. It's got kind of a thicker uh, glue slime. Oh my gosh, guys, seriously. It's got a thicker, <laughs> like, glueish consistency. All right, after that, I'm gonna spray in my contact lens solution and add some baking soda. Let's mix it up. I love this red color. I wonder if this really does work in your lips. Has anyone ever tried it? Because I haven't. I think I'm a little too scared. The texture of this is a little sticky as you can see right now, but the more I worked it, the thicker it got and the less sticky it became. And it's got a nice texture. It's, it's not sticky and it's more kind of like a plastic. I guess kind of like a putty slime. You know how they're a lot thicker, um, but yet, I don't know, it's not as thick. It's, it's hard to explain. This totally sounds like plastic packaging. All 
All right, up next is face mask. Peel off face mask. <laughs> okay, I just. Oh my gosh. All these sounds are so hilarious. Um, add your face mask to your bowl. Now it's time to add your color and you can add a food color in if you like. I'm adding pigment because I always love to fight with these little guys. They like to get me most of the time, but I'm going to win this time. Yes, I won. Guys, look at this hot pink. Oh, I'm in love, love with this pink. So you just add in your pigment or your food coloring. And we're just going to stir it in. It's time to activate. So I'm going to add in a little bit of baking soda and use some contact lens solution. This will actually be the activator I use for all three of these comparisons. Time to mix. And what I'm noticing right now is that this is a thinner consistency of slime compared to the lip gloss, the peel off lip gloss I did previously. Um, I'm going to knead it and it comes together. It's getting thicker, but yet it's not as plasticky as the peel off lip gloss was. This definitely doesn't have that rappy sound. Wrapper sound, wrapper? Plastic wrapper sound. But it does have pops and you can poke it. Time for the clear glue. So I'm gonna pour in my glue into my bowl and I'm gonna add some more of this pigment that I love so much and this time I chose green. Once I was done mixing in my pigment, I added some baking soda and contact lens solution to activate my slime. All right, my slime is ready. Let's scoop it out and play with it. So this one is a, I mean, it's a softer consistency. It's pretty much like a regular clear glue would be. It's not as soft as the face mask. This clear slime has nice pokes. It's got great stretch, but unlike the gloss, it does not have that wrapper packaging sound. Next up, we're gonna fix a fluffy fail. Oh my lord. There's nothing quite like a glue poop. So first you're gonna add in a bottle of glue, and then you're gonna add in some shaving cream. And then you can color your slime if you like. I'm gonna dye mine purple with some pigment powders. Uh, food coloring works for this as well. And then you're gonna stir it up. And we've had many questions in the past and actually recently um, saying, how do you make fluffy slime? Because every time I do it, it's sticky and it melts and it doesn't work. And so this is how you do it, guys. Well, this is a recreation fail first and then we'll fix it. So I'm gonna add in my contact lens solution and side note, your contact lens solution and your shaving cream are actually activator. Also on fluffy slime, do not use paint it kills your slime don't even try it so this is the part where you're like oh my gosh like what is this it's so sticky it's not coming together let me add some more of this contact lens solution most people think it's the solution they need more of but it's really not guys it's, it's the weirdest thing you actually need more of not this what you need guys <laughs> is to get rid of this stick oh my gosh get it off of me you actually need more shaving cream. The way to make the perfect fluffy slime, guys, is two cups of shaving cream to one bottle of glue. 
and it will be perfect every time. And if it's, if it's a little stiff, you can add a little bit of lotion. And if it's a little sticky, you do that uh, baking soda and water solution. So this is perfect. This is fluffy. And this is how you fix your fluffy slime. Yay! Ooh, man. Um, I can't even see the slime hardly. I bet you can't either. So we need to change this background. Ah, uh, that's perfect. 